Hello painters, welcome to another episode of Painting the Monster Manual A to Z. In this episode we're going to be painting the Basilisk. So I decided to go with the metal version, uh, this is the Reaper Basilisk. And starting with our zenithal priming, we are going to airbrush on some Scale 75 Huldra Blue. You could brush this on with a paintbrush if you do not have an airbrush. And this will take two thin coats. All right, next up we're gonna do a, about a 50-50 mix of Skill 75 Holder Blue, and we're gonna to add to that the uh, Skill 75 Lindanus Gray. It's kind of a purplish light gray. So we're just trying to get like a light blue color. This will be our first highlight. And uh, trying to be careful and just spray it on the more raised areas, leaving the uh, shadows in the recesses. You could do this part with a brush if you're not very comfortable with your airbrush. But basically just highlighting all the raised areas. And probably take two passes to get good coverage. Uh, next up we're using straight Lindonis Gray and just bring that highlight out a little more. Don't want to cover up all the previous highlight but trying to focus more on the where we think the light would shine the most. And next up, we're going to brush on some Scale 75 Bloodfest Crimson. And we're just going to coat all of those scales on his back. And this will definitely take two coats if you've thinned your paints properly. Here I've jumped ahead just to show you what it looks like when you should finish this step. Alright, now I've sprayed the uh, whole model with Vallejo Gloss Varnish and let that dry. Now we're mixing some Army Painter Blue Tone Wash with Army Painter Quick Shade Mixing Medium. It's about a 50-50 mix. And we're just going to paint all of the bluish flesh. The wash helps the, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, varnish helps the wash stay in the recesses and stay off of the flat areas. And of course helps protect the model. All right, now that that's dry, going back to our Lindanus Gray and doing a quick dry brush. And then I ended up adding a, a little bit of pure white to that Lindanus Gray and doing a second dry brush with that. Now we're gonna highlight our uh, 
Red Scales with Scale 75 Orcish Dermis. This is a pretty wet dry brush. You can see I'm not wiping a lot of the paint off, but just enough so it doesn't fill in the details. And then to that mix, I'm going to add some Troll Slayer Orange from Citadel. And this time I am going to dry it pretty thoroughly. I just want to brighten up all the tips and the highest ridges. Now we've got some Vallejo Model Color Ivory. And we're just going to pick out the teeth. All right, here I've got some P3 Meridius Blue, and I'm just coating the eyeball. Then I take some P3 Arcane Blue and paint the inner two thirds of the of the eyeball. We don't want to cover up all of the Meridius Blue. And then finally some P3 Mara White. And we're going to put a dot of that in the center, slightly, slightly to the right of center. So it gives us a nice glow effect, sort of. And here's the final product. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. For live painting tutorials, follow me on Twitch TV. And if you'd like to show support, and have a chance to win the minis painted in these videos, check out my Patreon. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.